Hi everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful time and Happy New Year. Today is time to share my recommended component list of 2023 based out of what I review and what I try here in my system. Everything is based on price, performance, and sound quality ratio. So everything on this list is within 2023. If it's not on this list, probably from last year. So please remember the timeline starting from January 1st to December 31st of 2023. So I will start with amplifiers. For the amps, I will suggest you to, and I will highly recommend you to try topping PE7 Plus for very good price performance and noise performance, as well as sound quality ratio that you can get under $500. That is a class D amplifier. And another one is SMS Audio AO300 Class D integrated amplifier based out of Infineon chips inside. And it also featuring high quality deck that it can give you very good sounding, sound signature and sound quality out of that combination. It also have a bunch of features that are very useful. So those are two of my recommended amplifier for 2023. And next one is pre-amplifier alone with headphone amplifier stage. That goes to top in uh, A70 Pro, which is a very transparent pre-amplifier stage that it can deliver because it has dedicated pre-amplifier stage and probably uh, quietest pre-stage that money can buy under $500. And if you want R2 or pre-amplifier stage, I can highly recommend you to try Dina Fripp's uh, Hastier R2 or pre-amplifier stage. So those are very good options for you to have. The next one is speaker cable based out of what I try. So it's go to Vibok Audio VS901. That is high quality built with very good sounding and probably uh, due to the shielded nature of the cable, it's gonna be probably quietest speaker wires that you can buy and build quality is top notch. That is uh, highly recommended speaker wires. But please keep in mind, if you use tube amplification, it doesn't work well. It work the best with either class D or class AB or solid state design. So those are gonna be very good choice on that speaker cable wise. So next one I will recommend is X2 or XT05 Pro DAC with headphone amplifier combination powered by battery. So it can use on your full blown hi-fi system or your desktop or even as your portable device. It has highly capable high quality built with very good uh, battery inside, so it will last you whole day. And it has best feature out of that deck and that component is modular design that you can switch different kind of DAC cards. ESS is a factory standard, but if you want to go with AKM or Roam Muse IC, you can change them. So that is very good option for you to have and next is my recommended DAX, right? So for the budget and entry level DAX, SMS SU1 DAX with $80 price point is incredibly hard to beat. I mean, the sound quality is unbelievably good for the price that it, they are selling it for. Very clean and precise sound with nice and rich tone and balance and overall sound is very well balanced. In the most of the system, it will work wonderfully well. So that is a very good deck that you can have for $80. And next on my list is Yulong Audio DA-Art 
Aquila 3. That is based out of AKM 4499EXN conjunction with FPGA chip design. So that one is a little bit, a little bit more expensive than DAX that only featuring AKM chip combination. So that is a, one of the rare sounding and very good colorful sound that it can deliver. And also it has very good pre-stage built inside. Next one on my list is Tide. That is a topping E70 Velvet and SMS and Audio that SU9 Ultra. They both feature in AKM 4499EX and 4191EQ chip combination. They both offer great sound quality without spending a lot of money. So those are the decks that you can buy for under $500. They are tied. And next one on my list is LOXG D40 Pro. That is the only ESS based DAC on my list. So that is uh, featuring, I think, ESS9039MS chip inside. Just a little over $400 and you will have very good dynamic and vivid sound signature. Best of all, it is featuring noise light filter there. So that filter option is incredible. It may work well in most of the system. So that is my favorite feature of Luxie D40 Pro. And next on my list is price no object tag. That's go to Dina Fripp's Terminator Plus 12. So that is incredible deck that it can deliver you. I mean, effortless sound quality with very engaging sound signature that it can deliver. Instrument separation, nice and balanced sound with very good bass quality and mid-range high frequency delivery with nice and spacious airy sound that it can produce. So that is incredible deck that you can have if price is no object. My recommended streaming decks are Eva Solo DMB A6. That one is no brainer, hi-fi, high quality streaming deck you can have under $1,000 with highly capable streamer with it also featuring internet storage bay that you can insert the ssd inside so that is a very capable streaming deck that i can easily recommend it to you and next on my list is custard audio autolytic ah90 streamer deck so it has custard render that you can control all the streaming services, mostly major streaming services, but it doesn't have Apple Music or Amazon Music, so that one is, doesn't have that ability, but it can do UPnP or that kind of stuff. So that is a very good sounding streaming deck. And next on my list is Matrix Audio Mini i4. That one is highly capable deck as well as streaming capability, but they have limited available of the apps and services. So that's why they are lower side of my recommended list. For the entry level, you can totally try Wii and Pro. I can totally wholeheartedly recommend you to try it. That is no brainer if you want to get into streaming game because 159 to 180 dollars depending on the time of the year you can get them under 200 dollars is very good buy before we go to my best buy product of 2023 next one is the speakers so for the price and performance in 2023 jbl studio 630 is very hard to beat it has horn loaded design with six and a half inch base uh, base driver with two-way design so that is highly capable very good sounding stem mount speaker that money can buy under Probably they will retail about six, seven hundred dollars now, I think. So I will have all the current pricing on the screen. And next on my list is KLH Model 3 Acoustic Suspension Seal uh, Design Two Way Speaker using 8 inch paper pulp uh, base driver with Metal Dome Tweeter. The KLH Model 3 sound quality is out of this wall in 
right pairing because it will totally outperform uh, some more expensive three-way design, right? So that is uh, probably my favorite speaker of 2023 in terms of sound quality without considering the price. So, and next on my list is Kef R3 Mater. That is very good and neutral sounding and very transparent sounding. And I think it can be a bit boring in some pairing. So it needs, personally, I did not like Kef R3 Mater with uh, like a class D amplification for me because it doesn't really work well. It sounded great with solid state class A or class A B amps and it sound beautiful and build quality is very good. So those are three of my favorite speakers or passive speakers of 2023. And next one is probably, I think that's the only one active speaker that I reviewed. That is the JVS Studio 4305P. So that one is, under two thousand dollar or that price range so it has highly capable two-way design horn loaded studio monitor kind of a stand mount speaker that you can have it feature all the features that gba offer in most of the entry level pro audio line but it also have a highly capable wireless design meaning both speaker, all it needs is a two power cable. You can totally send two speaker wirelessly and play all the music wirelessly up to 24-bit, 192K. It has all the streaming capability. So if you need active speakers, check out JBS Studio 4305P. So that is a very good speaker that you can have. Finally, my best buy product of 2023 is Ever Solo DMB A8. The reason is it has pure R2 pre amplifier stage, available internet storage bay that you can insert SSD in there up to 2 terabyte, and it has very good DSP in there featuring parametric equalizer and everything combined plus those streaming capability and AKM chip and full balance design. That is very hard to beat. Only thing that they should do in the future is, let's say $2,500 and include amplifier in there. It's gonna be game changer in the future because most of the room DSP is game changer. Ever Solo DMB A8 is my product of the year and best buy product of the year for the features and functions and capability with most importantly sound quality. So that's it my friend. Those are my recommended list of 2023. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening.